Let me in. We own our dun, 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 dun. Screw anyone hey, else. folks, and the ladies, too. This is Matt Fela with the work shed. Uh, Jake's running this thing, but hey. he's on my right. See. Si. Italian for yes. Will Wolf on my left, currently playing because I was getting arthritis in my thumbs, <laughs> trying to figure out all the goddamn gadgets again. Oh, um, so yeah. right now we're looking for the third of the the third and final transmitter blocker, so we can do all this fun little detective mode stuff. Mm -hmm. Will's got a lock on it. I know where. If that disruptor stops working, yeah, I have to first take out that guy where the exclamation point is, where there's the dude right next to him. So it doesn't look like that's happening. Oh, use the sonic and blow it up next to him. That works? Yeah. Well, hold on. You just gotta make sure you detonate it. But you can only use the sonic once in the room. I know, that's why I never use the sonic. Oh, I use it all the time. It's worth it one time. You still got all the other 50 million different types of batarangs. They found me? What the hell? Yeah. Oh. Alright, try that again. Alright. Please. Took you out midair. I'm rusty. Anyone want a slightly used bat suit? I'm sure the blood will wash off. <laughs> Gross. Yeah. He's gonna sell up the bullet holes in the Kevlar. It's gonna be a tough job. Yeah, it takes a little while to get used to the game again. And you would think, because I've played, I've probably played the Arkham games more than any other game of like this generation. Yeah. Like this and Splinter Cell Conviction. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, I guess I'm really rusty. Splinter Cell Conviction is like a five-hour game. And, yeah, oh, like some short. I know, but and like especially for a Splinter Cell. Yeah, yeah, that, that game is like. At like eight to ten? That game is like ridiculously short. And Does it have a standalone co-op though. Yeah, which I've I've never played, and I'm really disappointed in myself. I've never played that. Mm. You need. It's not split screen. No, it is. Oh. So. My um. Hmm. My forte, if you will, for uh -huh. video games is. <laughs> Halo, because I believe in the story. Yes. And the Lego games. I am oh, yeah, those are cool. Oh, yeah, the Lego games are awesome. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so and with Splinter Cell Conviction, especially if you, it, like, when you do New Game Plus, because all your weapons retain, and the, and the difficulty doesn't change, doesn't do, like, this bullshit. Yeah. So, like, then it just gets really easy. Mm-hmm. Resident Evil 4 going through New Game Plus like that is so much fun. Oh my god, yeah. Especially when you get like the extra bonus weapons. Yeah. Like the crazy laser that just kind of breaks the game. Which wasn't in the GameCube original. No. No, I'm talking about the Wii version. Yeah. yeah you know what? That, I kind of feel like I should, get through that. I, should, I should go through that again. Uh, GameCube, I have um, Zero, Resident Evil Zero, and Resident Evil 1. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did they redo 2? They didn't re They re-released 2, but it's just the port. Yeah. Like, the graphics aren't any better. Oh, okay. Did they do another version of uh, Resident Evil 1, I think? Well, didn't they, 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 did, they, they, they did it for N64. They had no, the original, they no, had the director's cut. They, okay, so yeah. there was Sorry. Resident Evil... The original Resident Evil came out on the PlayStation 1. Yeah. Then they remade it for the GameCube. Well, they had a director's cut for PS1 as right. well. Then they remade it for the GameCube. Mm-hmm. That remake is now on Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, and Xbox One. Okay, that's what it is. But is, is it an HD up-res, or is it just a port? It's an HD... It's an HD up -res. It's a okay. complete HD remake. Oh, okay, it's so a full remake. Yeah. Oh, nice. I should look into that. Yeah, no. I have it. I haven't played it yet. No, I'm good. Yeah. Actually, I would say there's a lot of games on my plate, but there's really not. I've got a lot of Xbox 360 games I haven't touched, and Steam, well, whose Steam's collection ever is complete. And then I got uh, Resident Evil 4, the Steam edition of Resident Evil 4. Mm -hmm. Son which, of a bitch, that move worked. You kicked him right off the goddamn thing. Yeah. And he got knocked out? <laughs> yeah, because yeah. nice. that's rolled around him. Nice. Yeah, that works. Um, Although yeah. I tried like so many times trying to do that in the challenge room with the kick on it. Yeah. Pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, the Steam version of Resident Evil 4 is like full HD, 60 frames a second, uh, customizable, all that wonderful stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but 
their loading screen. And the GameCube version is the only version huh. that doesn't have loading screens. That's weird. Yeah. That's why the GameCube version, despite still missing a lot of stuff, is still mm-hmm. best. In my opinion. Um, I sucked at Resident Evil. Oh yeah, no. The because, original one is oh, so yeah. hard. Well, because if I was never used to the camera angles, I mean, I grew nobody up is. No, were, nobody is. Those were like the f- made to be. Yeah. Right. The oh, first God. Resident Evil game actually I ever played. Like I remember being at a bu- at a friend's house, and he put in. He's just like, oh, I'm gonna replay this game. I was like, what is it? He goes, it's Resident Evil Two. I was like, what is it? He goes, oh, it's zombies and shit. I was like, right on, man. And then the opening scene is, you know. Oh yeah, the car. Claire yeah, the car on the, on the yeah. motorcycle. Really, it really mm. it's, yeah. But, but then, uh, like, when you actually start the game, like, there's the car crash. And, right, like, but he had the Leon version, so it opened with Leon, like, the Leon bonus disc or uh, something. Uh, it was it on the play... Why am I pausing? On the I PlayStation, it's a two-disc game. One disc is Leon's story, the other disc is Claire's story. Right, exactly. But we, I think he started on Leon. Yeah. Okay. Um, which was kind of interesting. I was like, oh, that's kind of neat, because I was still... With the with the CD, you know, you had the the CD cartridges. I was still yeah. on, you know, the the N sixty four. Yeah, my, so I was I, always behind. My first was um, Resident Evil two on N sixty four. But then I, I you know I saw you know he we basically played through the game and I you know I was trying to run him. <laughs> oh, <actually>, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but my real first thing to it uh, was playing on N sixty four. I got it from Blockbuster yeah. for a week. Yeah. And. Uh, <laughs> Go to sleep. And I was trying to start my own save file. I was like, God, I stuck at this game. I was like, Oh, I wonder if I can play on the old, on the other saved files in the game. So I was playing <laughs> on the other saved files and trying to put, trying to piece the story together from what was going on. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. But then that's uh, that really got me into the history of the whole Umbrella Corporation. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I was just like, Oh, there's a one. And then I remember being for GameCube. Oh, they're making a zero. They're making a prequel. I was like, Well, zero was supposed to come out on N64, and then they just said, Fuck it, let's move it to GameCube. Yeah. I see what you're doing, Matt. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> see that? Oh, what? Oh, he's armored. He's armored. Oh. B B B B B B B. Yeah, you got him. Better Daddy hope he, you do it before the other guy sees you. No, I think you're good. I don't know where the other guy is. He's on. He's like he's right in below the me. Subway, yeah. Do you know what that train car made me think of? The way how decrepit it is. What did it make? Pull it out, guys. Uh, Turtles Two. Turtles Two. Uh, yes. <laughs> yo, you guys both saw the Avengers, right? Yeah. Uh, Age of Ultron. Yeah. Somebody referred to it today as the first Ninja Turtles movie. Huh. Because they spend like 20 minutes on the farm. Yeah. After they get their asses kicked. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that reminded me of something. It was definitely that, yeah. It's time to go back. Dun, 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 Such a great soundtrack. Yeah. Now, if now actually, one of my favorite jokes in the movie, because it's so funny, because I watch that movie over and over and over, and you think you know every line in the movie, and then you go back after having some experience. Oh, yeah. And you... That was the last jam. Raphael gets out of KC as of the, the O'Neill family farm pickup. Uh-huh. And he goes, Now I know what it's like to travel without a green card. Whoa, oh, racism! Oh, oh, oh. No. What it, uh, uh. <laughs> and then, and then, not ten minutes later, maybe not even five minutes later, there's a homosexual joke. Yeah, I was going to say. Was that gonna went say. over my head when I was little. It went over all, I'm like, you're a claustrophobic. <laughs> hey, I've never even looked at another man before. <laughs> just like, wait, wait, what? what? <laughs> God, you're oh, just like, what? like, highbrow. Yeah. But that makes, you know, but, you know, if you take, like, modern movies, and I can't say modern, the movie's, like, ten years old now, but, like, Shrek. Oh yeah. Think oh, maybe yeah. he's compensating for something because I teach, I work with children, and those kids were saying those lines. I was like, I don't think you guys know what that means. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> no. And it's like, oh, it's because of how short he is, and it's mm-hmm. really weird. You ever notice, even though it's voiced by John Lithgow, but how much um, like facial structure really looks like Peter Dinklage. Like I hate saying that. Peter Dinklage. Tyrion. Yeah, Peter Dinklage. Tyrion. Oh, yeah. I never yeah, noticed. Does, like Dinklage, yeah. But even but uh, segue to the animated movie slate. Finally, there is a hope in sight for um, Incredibles Two. Yes. yes. No. He's Brad Bird said that's his next movie. Yeah, it's so I'm happening. so pumped for that. That was like the one Pixar movie that I think needed a sequel. Mm. Right. It's my favorite Pixar movie, so maybe oh, I'm a little biased. So maybe that's yeah. why you have a bias. Yeah. About it. But 
But even even so, actually, my new my new favorite meme is uh, Maria Hill talking to Captain America, and she's doing the line from Avengers two, and she's going, "He's oh, fast, yeah. and she's weird," and it's Dash and Violet from Incredibles, and you're just like, "Oh my uh, god!" Yeah, oh, yeah. Will, I wanted to ask you, yes. what is uh, Captain America's shield made out of? Uh, vibranium. What nope. is Hulk well, no, 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 shield no, 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 no. made out of? Hawkeye shield. Yeah. Okay, has a shield? It's Quicksilver. Oh! Oh! oh. Dark. Oh, man. <laughs> um, oh, no, ice bombs. In, in the movies, it's vibranium. Uh, vibranium. vibranium. In, uh, in the comics, it's vibranium adamantium. adamantium alloy, but they can't mention the adamantium because Wolverine and Fox. Because of who? I'm sorry, we're owned by Disney Corporation. <laughs> who do you mean? The Miracles? You mean the statue I have in my basement? I kind of want, in the Deadpool movie, Deadpool to acknowledge that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Like, Ryan Reynolds just... They should. Ryan Reynolds just going... <laughs> but uh, that might be against the contract without not being able to mention I don't think they it. care. At this point, they're probably just, like... We'll give you, like, $100 so we could say this one joke. No, because honestly, like, Marvel's being so petty about it. Uh -huh. Fox will probably just be like, Hey, Deadpool, you kind of look like Spider- No, no, we're not legally allowed to call me that. <laughs> actually, one of the one of the guys- Well, I, now they can. Yeah. One of the guys I work with actually pointed this out to me. Um, in the, you know, the quote-unquote, the leaked Deadpool uh, trailer, where it's like six minutes long. Oh, the, C the CGI thing? The CGI yeah. thing with Ryan Reynolds' voice, which was basically the pitch for the Deadpool yeah, yeah, yeah. movie. Uh -huh. At the end, he- Cause he's always he gets in the truck and he's just like I have my pregnant Trevor. Yeah. Like he just does like the you know the weird soap operas. But at the end he goes, oh look at me, I got a boy. Hi Tom. Wait. Tom is apparently an executive. T Rex. T -Rex. <laughs> Tom is apparently an executive at Marvel who is just like you need to get this movie made. Oh yeah, probably uh Tom Brevoot I think is yeah. his name. And because uh, I think he was the cur I think he was one of the most current writers of Deadpool, and and he basically said to Ryan Reynolds, "You have to get the movie made." So when he says hi, Tom, he's not just uh -huh. talking to another random person that he <laughs> yeah. met on the street. Uh -huh. Tom, he's talking to this executive. Tom Bravoot is yeah. like the biggest. You know, he's one of the biggest like I hate Fox people at Marvel, oh, really? but like, he never directly like says it. Oh, okay. Like he like they because they asked him like, hey. Why are there no, like, Fantastic Four things, like, toys and stuff? And he's just like, why would we promote a yeah. line we don't own? <laughs> <laughs> then again, it's not a very good line at the moment. Okay, you know what? <laughs> That's, the thing is, like... Okay, the old movies weren't very good either. I'm not talking about the movies. All right, okay. forget the movies. It's the book. The, the book books. itself, when the book is good, the They're book canceled. is the... old. When the But when the book is good... Like, that's one of the best books they put out. Yeah. Usually it is the best book they put out. If they but weren't like, having such a bitch where they're not doing them. Yeah, anymore. and they had, like, Jonathan Hickman on, who was doing, like, an am amazing stuff. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I don't know, I haven't been following James Robinson's run, but, like, they had Mark Wade had an excellent, excellent run of Fantastic Four. Um, J. Michael Straczynski, Mark You're Millar, for now. like... Classic yeah, run. So, so, so what is it? So what is it? So it's not the right. After you've answered my is it, question, is it a paradigm Who shift? Because you? let me tell you something. Some of the best Sorry, Fantastic man. Four stories cop. I've ever the read were the after Christian they killed Johnny Storm. Strike team. Yeah, that was when yeah. Hickman was run, writing it. Yeah, exa yeah, exactly. If Gordon sent you, like, you'll know the that it's, def it's definitely writer. something. Oh, yeah, someone up high is like saying, "Hey, fuck the Fantastic Four, fuck the X Men." Now, yeah, everyone else is cool because. The X Men writers were right not well. allowed to create your new mutants. Office, That's why they did in humans. Stones, yeah, like they they flat Stones. out told Chris Claremont and like the Gordon entire X Men team, do not create any more new mutants. Yeah, if you have to, they're in humans. I guess we found out. Which is tenants. messed up. Oh yeah. Hopefully Isn't there something so going on now where they're actually moving the X Men to what's left of the send you to another planet? Yeah. Oh really? That's post Secret War. Yeah. Oh, that's messed up. Right. So it's you know. That's. But like that, but then they're doing things like the King, Fantastic Four has a big part in the whole battle, uh, battle world, and Secret yeah. was right now. But like, what's messed up is, is like, um, what's his name? Kitty uh, Pride and Star Lord are getting married. Oh, that's nice, huh? And like, okay, so you okay. just had your big Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Wait, all 
616? Yes, 616. Okay. Because I was going to say, Ultimate uh, Kitty Pride's a little young for him. I, I'm pretty sure everybody from the Ultimate Universe who isn't named Miles Morales is not sticking around. Yeah. Uh, oh, you see that? They might bring Jessica Drew, though, I think. Really? Well, Jessica Drew, isn't she? I want to say her... so. Because she has a whole big thing, because she's a clone of Peter Parker, which right. freaked the hell out of the real Peter Parker in, um, in 616. Yeah. Which he's very unhappy with everyone in uh, the Ultimate World knowing who he is. He's very pissed off about it. He died right in front of him. Yeah. Because, yeah. But he's back. Ultimate it's... Peter Parker. Oh, he's back? It's really oh, him? Oh, yeah, it's really him. Pretty much him and Norman Osborn are both immortal from the spider bite. Which probably means Miles Morales is too. Why? It's a whole weird clusterfuck of a why? story. I don't know. They, they haven't really explained why they're so alive. They're just like, oh yeah, I'm pretty much a god now. But then again, that's Norman Osborn being a jackass. But, uh, yeah, nope. Peter Parker kind of just ran away with uh, Mary Jane. Yeah, well, Peter gets weird over here. Remember? So oh, yeah. those two are just pretty much off in Ultimate World being missing. And I don't know if they're going to bring them into... Uh, they haven't showed up at all in Secret Wars or anything else yeah. since then. Oh, so so, so you're telling... Oh, yes, I did read that Mary Jane and Peter are back together or whatever it is. That's one of the tie-ins. No, I'm talking about Ultimate. Oh, the Ultimate one. Yeah, like he ran away with Mary Jane article. and disappeared. I was reading an article online. I forget what the source was. They were, they were talking about some, not the history of Marvel, but just you know what's been happening with them since mid-90s, let's uh-huh. say. Mm-hmm. And they were saying how when Marvel went bankrupt, which we know about, yeah. that the ultimate line is with Save. I could see that. They had that was, a lot of really good stories. That was lines. one of the things. Well, did it start with Ultimate X Men? Wasn't that? Wasn't the idea behind that was just to be like, okay, we have too much X Men stuff going on. We really need to narrow. It well, down. no, it was. They ul- still have too much. X-Men. It was Ultimate Spider Man. Mm. That was the first. Yeah. That was the first one. Because I honestly thought they went bankrupt, and the one actually one of their first saving graces was Blade, the Blade the movie. movie. Yeah, and the first X Men movie because yeah. the, the first X Men movie gave them the money, or not so much the money, but it, because you know, studio. Yeah. it was basically oh, but it helped, right? Oh yeah, which is what got the Spider Man movie made, which let's say is the first turn in the modern superhero movies. Yeah, this I think is, that's fair to say. You know, we have a very large fight coming up here. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna... Ooh. A lot of jumping. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of... I like that they have his... Umbrella gun. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a cute little nod. Because, you know, God forbid they do something. Show them what we call. Mr. Sickle! So, Batman. How did Mr. Sickle become a uh, penguin henchman? Because his brothers was uh, Harley Quinn. <laughs> oh, maybe they traded. I, was only here yeah. for freeze and the I figured they would want to stay together, the brothers. Now, yeah. I'm taking you That's it. down too. I have the, the prequel comic that Paul Beanie wrote. I haven't read it yet, but I know they, I think they explained that. <laughs> they don't explain why Tim Drake is 30, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, some of uh, Barbara's uh, concept stuff for Arkham Knight, she looks old. If someone yeah. Wants it, oh, yeah? Just oh, no, like I've got it. I don't think I saw it. I don't have it. <laughs> Catwoman looks good, they're showing her battle damage. She looks a lot better than she does in this game. I like his design, but I don't like that it's a white Coke bottle. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Who did that? I think they, I think they say Zaz did that. Oh, okay. Just where I what, put the Coke bottle in it, eh? <laughs> yeah. So, okay, that makes sense if it's like part of a previous story. Yeah. I just boy, didn't see. It's probably in that prequel comic. You I think it's in one of the audio logs in this game. Oh, uh, okay. Pot. I was hoping you'd say that. Look around you. As I stuff my face with beef jerky. Um, <laughs> the audio logs are my favorite part about the only only take Yeah. Rest. And today, Best means whoever can kill you. Come on out, lads. It's initiation time. I just know, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. 
quite a lot of people. Sure is. He should Batman though. Come on, come check you. Batarangs, galore. Not saying that Catwoman doesn't kick ass. She does, but she has a lot less health and yeah. moves and everything. Which makes her a lot tougher in fights like this. Come on. You got a combo move. Uh, Some of that excellent music in the background. Yep. Who does the score for this? Ah, uh, I forgot his name. Up? It's two guys. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. I know the guy who did it for Arkham Origins is a guy called Christopher Drake, and he does all of, like, the DC animated movies. Which, let me mm. tell you something. And they're good. Oh, so good. Mm -hmm. The music and those movies. Listen, maybe the movies are not your best cup of tea because you're used to reading the comic and the comics have much more. Let me tell you. Jake, man, you're up. That is, that is some fantastic some of, music. Some of those movies are excellent, and I'll put them up there with some of the best. Like, Justice League Doom. Oh, yeah. Just, I love Justice League Doom. That movie is so good. The two movies based on Jeff Loeb's Batman Superman mm -hmm. run. Yeah. Really, really uh, good. The, the Supergirl one, but it's not too cold. It's Supergirl. called Apocalypse. Apocalypse. The Wonder Woman movie is a near perfect Wonder Woman movie. Oh. Near perfect. Right? Yeah. So good. There's that. Um, they were supposed to do Teen Titans, the Judas contract, and they never did. That was like supposed to be the second one they did. I'm like, I'm really disappointed. Anything they didn't. related to the Teen Titans is always in developmental hell. Yeah, yeah. Because there's something somewhere in the contracts it has to do with Robin. <laughs> it's initiation I don't know if it's necessarily Robin. I think it's just that nobody knows what to do with them. And next time in the workshop, I'll get to this fight. More on Teen Titans. And more on Teen Titans. So to I'm on the edge of my seat here ready for battle, and you're going to cut it now? I mean... <laughs> uh, Doritos. It's like a little bit over. This whole well, court is out of order. You, should I just do a long one and finish this fight? No, it's all right. No, okay. no. Let's give the people what they want. Yeah. <laughs> See you next time, kitties. Bye. All right.